Okay, open it up. Uh, just on a note on injury, uh, uh, Justin Houston had a hamstring and did not finish. Um, other than that, great win. Uh, obviously, long time coming. Uh, we fought hard. Feel like you know our level of preparation has continued to rise throughout the year. Standards going higher and higher. Just a matter of time before we see the results. So, really proud of how we played as a team. You know, as one, just sticking together. Good complementary football. Wasn't always pretty at times. Um, but we, we hung in there and, um, you know, there were times in the back and forth where defense bailed us out and then offense came through with a long drive. Um, we were aggressive. I thought Thomas Brown did a great job calling his first game. Um, I thought Bryce really played smart with the football, Thought we did a good job. You know, no turnovers, very few penalties, you know, three penalties to their 10, zero turnovers to their one. Um, you know, those are big stats in a close game like this and then just Really proud of how we fought at the end. Did what it took to win the game. So I'll open it up from there. Frank, you said it wasn't always pretty. Even that last drive kind of got a little, a little choppy. What about the what you see on the fourth and two play where DJ hit the Yeah, um, you know, just a, a great play by those two. It didn't, you know, I have to look at it on film, but it didn't come out as clean as we anticipated. But it didn't, didn't matter. We made the play. That's two guys making a play. Um, getting the completion, getting what we needed on a on a clutch play. Just go to your two guys. How long did a drive like this do for Bryce and his team, considering everything that kind of went on to get this one? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a big confidence builder for our whole team, especially for especially for the offense and Bryce, obviously as our leader. Um, you know, making the plays, making the plays in that drive that we needed um, was clutch. And uh, I thought Bryce made a bunch of those during the day. But when we needed him the most, he made the biggest plays. How was the play calling down I thought it was great. You know, I mean, Thomas called a great game. You know, um, you know, I was I was off the. You know, it wasn't it was his game. It was his game, and and I you know I resisted any temptation to kind of get involved. And you know, we talked on the sideline a couple times um, about a few things. Um, but I thought he did a fantastic job, and I thought he did a, a fantastic job getting the guys ready during the week as well. This is new territory for you, I think. Yeah, I mean, I definitely felt that. I mean, uh, you know, as far as the game management side, you know, being able to talk to the guys upstairs a little bit more. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of crazy stuff that came up in the game. So, um, but what did come up, I thought we handled it well. I thought the communication was, was good. Um, you know, was able to kind of keep in tune with what the defense and what special teams was doing a little bit more. So I definitely felt the difference. Have you ever seen anything like the sequence on the field goals? Um, I have. It's been a little bit, you know, it's a strategy that some teams seem to take if, you know, I don't want to impute motives, but, you know, to try to just intentionally jump it a few times to see if they can rattle the kicker. And they're, they're willing to, when you're already in tight, they're willing to just keep doing it and doing it and doing it um, sometimes. Now, I'm not saying that's what they were doing, but I've, su I've seen some teams do that. I'm not accusing Houston of doing that, but, um, but that's, what, that's what's done. So, like, as soon as it started to play out like that, I mean, you know, you just keep your cool. Eddie, had, Eddie did a good job of keeping his cool and, um, you know, just was clutch like we knew he would be. Frank, uh, during the offseason, Josh McCown even said that off schedule throws and kind of creating his own play was Bryce's superpower. <laughs> We're, we saw a lot more in this game than we had in previous games. Uh, I wonder what you attribute that to and uh, why do you think he was so successful doing it in this one? I just think he was in good rhythm. I, I thought in the first half, um, we did a good job in some of our play actions, getting the ball down the field. Um, and he just felt you could just tell he was comfortable um, making the plays. It was good to see Mingo get going a little bit, you know, on a few catches. Uh, so there were, I thought there were ones he hit in rhythm like that one to Mingo. And then there's other times I just said, Mike, he's getting out of the pocket and making a play. Um, those are all things that we know that we're going to see on a week to week basis. And if I could follow up on that, uh, we saw drop spikes. Uh, He went back to them. In your experience, how important is that from the truck, the quarterback playmaker trust? Yeah, it's a big deal. You could see it. As, you could see it in his body language. You you could see no negative. You know, when when a guy dropped it, you could see him. You could then he's talking to him on the sideline. Go, I'm coming back to you. That kind of thing. Just great leadership by him, um, and great confidence and trust by him and his guys. Right. Well, I've got you, uh, on that last drive. 
last drive to set up the field goal? Yeah, they were huge. I mean, you know, we struggled running the ball the whole day a little bit. Um, I mean, we had a few runs here and there, but man, did we need those runs? And and did we need those runs? And he ran it hard. He protected the ball. He got what we needed. Thomas did a good job of calling it and sticking with it. Um, it, it was really clutch. Chuba came up big. I mean, very satisfying. I mean, for the guys, you know, for our team, for all of us, right? Um, you know, been working hard to get this thing going. I think we're all walking off there feeling like, okay, this now we're going to get going. You know, this is one. We know we got a long way to go. Um, we'll certainly enjoy this and celebrate it. Um, but this is just the beginning. And so we've, we've tried to set very high standards for ourselves with the way we prepare. I think we've been learning how to do that as the years progressed. And there's no turning back. You know, we know every week in this league it's a battle. And uh, every week it's a battle. But all we have to do is prove that we're the best team on the field that particular day. And so you reduce it down. You shrink the problem just to that one-on-one -on -one matchup, to that one team that you're playing. And then you go play your game. And right. you play it with confidence. Sorry, Frank. You've been preaching you're close. And you're getting better. You're improving now to be able to take this back to that locker room and show them that it's working. How, how important is that? It's very important. I mean, you want to, at some point, you know, these guys have been great. You want you. Know, you want to see the results. Um, you know, we know that we're building the results, and but you need to you just need to see them at some point. And I don't think the guys have wavered. That's to their credit. Um, but this is going to be a great win to build confidence off of. And you know, that's a good football team. You know, they don't make many mistakes. They've been playing good team football. Um, that that team makes you beat them. And you know, I thought we did that today. We went out and proved we were the better team, and we didn't beat ourselves. And we. You know, we put our best football on the field for 60 minutes and came away with a win. Is there a weight lifted getting your, your first one? Yeah, I think so. I mean, yes. Um, I, you know, didn't expect it to be, you know, this date. Um, did not expect it to be this date, but it is what it is. You know, we're not looking back. I'm not, no regrets. It's just part of the season, and you look forward to the next week. And, you know, for me personally, I'm, I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay day to day. And, um try to continue to get better. We come in here tomorrow, watch the film, look at it, be critical as coaches and as players, figure out how we can get better. You know, we need to be a team that in the second half of the year that we just get a little bit better every week. And if we do that, then good things will happen. Frank, was that, was Frank you alluded to was all over the field today. Uh, 12 tackles, head sack. Well, I mean, he's doing this every week, but what can you say about him today and today? He was, he was incredible. I mean, he was a beast. Like you said, a bunch of, I didn't know it was that many tackles, but a bunch of pass, you know, a couple pass defended, you know, plays that are probably going to be first downs. You know, that one third down right there, um, he, makes a, he makes a great tip. I think he had two pass, you know, passes defended, um, you know, in, in that as well. So just an all-around great game by Frankie. Um, I got to go back and look at it. Uh, you know, crazy as it sounds, one scramble when it was third and two, and he just got to, somehow got that ball out there to get the first down. That was, you know, I, I don't remember what how that drive ended up, but if we ended, up, I think we got points on that drive. I think we got a field goal out of that drive. But um, you know, he's just got the, all the instincts. He's got all the instincts, all the playmaking ability, all the throws. Um, great composure, seeing the field great. Um, so. Good things ahead. Frank, more questions for Coach. DJ Johnson, get carted off. It looked like he got hurt in celebration. What, what do you know about him? It was cramp. He was cramping up. You know, he played hard, and you know, he's given that. You know, you know, DJ. I mean, that guy plays hard. He leaves it all. He left it all out in the field, and just was cramping up at the end. Frank, was there a game ball that went out? Yeah, so, you know, we all, sometimes right after the game, you give out a couple immediately, and then we'll give out some tomorrow. But um, obviously, gave one to Eddie. A Panero, you know, you got to walk off. You got to walk off field goal. You're always going to get a game ball there. Um, Thomas Brown, you know, his him calling his first game, um, you know, in the NFL, being clutch in the fourth quarter in that last drive, had great poise, great control, did a good job of sequencing that drive, and then um, and then the guys. And I know this meant a lot to Bryce, but Frankie, Frankie, and the guys wanted to give Bryce a game ball. You know, his his first win. So uh, that was a pretty big deal. All right, thank you. Thanks, Coach.